Hi guys, had a comment from Kathy Gao. She noticed that I'd got large wheels on the back of my rubber band powered car and small wheels on the front. And she wanted to know what the difference was, what difference it made. Um, that got me thinking, maybe I ought to do a little test, a comparative test to see what difference it does make. So what I've done is I've built two identical cars here, or at least the, the chassis are identical, same cardboard, same axles, barbecue skewers, same tubes, drinking straws, same number of rubber bands. Okay, first test I'll do is looking at wheel spin. So We've got four rubber bands here. I'll wind up the first two. What I'm looking for is the, the knot for the second rubber band. That's it just there. So that's in line with the axle. So if you just watch this black line, you should be able to see whether it's spinning or not. I think that's fairly obvious. Okay, now we'll try with the bigger wheels. We'll wind up the motor the same amount. So we're winding it up until the second knot is just on the back axle. There we go. So watch the line and see if it spins. And the answer is no, it didn't spin. So that's our first comparison. For the same amount of power on the same sized axle, smaller wheels are more likely to spin than larger wheels. They haven't got enough grip. OK, for the next test I'm going to improve the grip on the small wheels. I've cut up a balloon and I've stretched it round the wheels. So they've now got rubber tyres. So we'll wind it up exactly the same amount. and see if it still spins. Okay, exactly the same amount. Watch the black line. And we had no spinning at all, so extra grip and it was quite happy. Right, I've wound up the wheels the same amount, or the rubber bands the same amount on both cars. As long as they go straight we should be able to compare them. So, I think that quite clearly showed that the smaller wheels gave you better acceleration as long as they've got the grip. Okay, this comparison we've got large wheels at the back on the left with small wheels at the front and on the right we've got small wheels at the back with large wheels at the front. And I would expect the small wheels to accelerate fast again, the one on the right. But interestingly enough, the big wheeled one caught up. I'll just do that one again. Right, same test again. Large back wheels, small front wheels on the left. Small back wheels, large front wheels on the right. And what I think I saw was the one on the left had a tiny bit of wheel spin. So we'll try it again. Yes. There was definitely a tiny bit of wheel spin on the car with the big wheels on the back. And it caught up with the one on the right, even though the one on the right started off quickest. To make sure we don't get wheel spin this time, I've put strips of rubber round the big wheels as well now, because I've actually wound the rubber bands up an extra notch. I've actually wound three rubber bands round the back axle. So we'll see if we get wheel spin this time. 
that time the small wheels had a bit of wheel spin. So obviously winding the motors up that bit more was too much for the small wheels to cope with. So the bigger wheels didn't spin and the car was faster. This time the car on the left has got big wheels at the front, big wheels at the back and rubber tyres. The car on the right has got small wheels at the front, small wheels at the back and rubber tyres. And both of them have got the rubber bands wound up, three rubber bands wound round the back axle. So we'll see how we go. Right, let's just go up there and have a look. Clearly the small wheels accelerated faster. But if you have a little look at the back axle here, that one's just got about one turn, yes, one turn of rubber band left on it. This one has got lots of turns of rubber band left. So that means that one started slower, but it was going to go much further. This one had just about run out of rubber band by the time it got to the end of my kitchen. It would have still carried on a bit further, freewheeling, but it would, have been, would not have been powered. So then we're into how much further would they have gone if I had a longer kitchen. And I can't tell you because I don't have anywhere else to do this. OK, one final comparison. I've turned the cars round so the rubber band powered axle is at the front of the car rather than the back. So we'll just see if there's any difference. Well, I'd expected them to wheel spin, but they didn't, so we learn something every day. So I've got to do some sort of conclusion or summary. My interpretation of the results is smaller wheels, faster acceleration, but a tendency to spin the wheels under power, also a lighter car, which helps the acceleration as well. Bigger wheels, slower acceleration, less likely to spin the back wheels, although you can put rubber around them to stop them spinning anyway, and it looks like it would travel further. All I can suggest is you have a go yourself and compare them.